It's Thursday, March 15th, and your stories today are Google bans crypto ads, China works to develop blockchain infrastructure, and sexy crypto. Hello world, you're watching The Comet, where I catch you up on global Ethereum and blockchain news. For your first story today, Google has indicated that it plans to follow Facebook's lead in issuing policies to ban crypto ads. Google posted an announcement late on Tuesday that the company will update its financial services policy to limit what financial products it will allow to be advertised starting June of 2018. Among the soon to be prohibited products are cryptocurrencies and related content including, but not limited to, ICOs, cryptocurrency exchanges, wallets, and trading advice. Google said that in 2017, it removed more than 130 million ads that were used by hackers to mine for cryptocurrency. That is a very small percentage of the ads run on Google's ad network. Google took down more than 3.2 billion ads that violated its wider policies in 2017, such as those that attempted to send people to sites loaded with malware or phishing scams. The company said it removed 1.7 billion bad ads in 2016, showing a growing trend. In other news, China revealed on Tuesday that the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has directed one of its subdivisions, the Informatization and Software Services Division, to conduct a special study of national importance. They will use the findings from the MIIT study as a foundation for a steering committee. Translated in English, the committee will be called the National Blockchain and Distributed Accounting Technology Standardization Technical Committee. I always love when a committee has like 20 words in their name. The more specific, the better. I want to know exactly what you're spending your money on. According to the committee, once initial goals have been met, the next phase of development will see the department actively promote related work, accelerate the establishment of the standardization committee, and better serve the development of the blockchain industry. The study may eventually be paired with findings from China's Digital Currency Research Institute, combining expertise in both blockchain and cryptocurrency. And finally, there's really nothing sexier than crypto. Just ask Playboy. The adult entertainment company announced Wednesday that it's developing an online payment wallet which people can use to pay for its online content and casual games. Casual games are online games that casual gamers would play, something like Candy Crush. And I'm going to assume that we all know what the online content consists of. I would have done more research on what Playboy meant by online content, but I'm not trying to get sent to HR. In a press release, the company's chief commercial officer and head of operations, Rena Patel, said the decision to accept cryptocurrency payments reflects the popularity of alternative payment methods around the world. It is safe to assume this is another attempt to change the online presence of porn since it isn't exactly difficult to get a hold of. There's a little something called Instagram, am I right? <laughs> you know I'm right, because everyone forgot how to wear clothes on there, you know. In 2015, Playboy made headlines by announcing that it would stop publishing naked photographs in its printed magazines. Then CEO Scott Flanders told the New York Times, quote, you're now one click away from every sex act imaginable for free, end quote. Ugh. But in 2017, they realized that was a silly idea, so they brought back the nudity. Hopefully, they stick to this decision to accept various cryptocurrencies as forms of payment, as the payment wallet is expected to be available by the end of the year. That's our comment for the day, but what do you think? Obviously, Google and Facebook are doing the right thing by protecting us from malware, but why don't they protect us from the creepy ads about something we were talking about with our friend just like two seconds prior for it popping up? You know what I'm saying? That's so creepy. Will other countries follow in China's lead? And will people excuse me, I mean men, be drawn to Playboy more once they accept cryptocurrency for payments? Or will they just Google whatever they're looking for? Let me know, but don't let me know too much because I'm a classy lady after all. Tweet at me, have a wonderful day, and as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. 
If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get all the newest episodes of The Comment as they air by clicking that alert button. That's that bell looking thing next to the word subscribe. If you miss our latest episodes, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore, silly. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ethnewsy. That's at ethnewsci. And we'll see you next time.